And I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. Cause you niggas is making me sick. I ain't supposed to talk like that. I promise I ain't. But I ain't never seen a light-skinned dude get so much hate from his own community. This is the... the when they talk about colorism, this is what they talking about. Like, I don't want to say this because I'm a street, I'm from the dude, I'm from the hood too. You know, I'm from the the trenches just like the rest of y'all. But bro, we need to be honest about our inferiority complex that we have toward people of our ilk that might live in the suburbs or might be doing better than us. And and full disclosure, I love me some Kendrick. I'm a big Drake fan and I'm one of the biggest Lil Wayne fans that you're gonna ever meet. From Louisiana. Gotta represent the state. You know I mean? But this is ridiculous. Drake decides to sue Kendrick Lamar. And y'all gonna think, damn Drake, you you fine with it. That's not what this video about. Okay, this video is about y'all hating asses. I conceded. I didn't think that Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef. I didn't agree with the majority, but the majority spoke. So I conceded. Drake lost. He lost. He shut up. But I like, uh, bunch of them songs is me. The best he had was not like us. But Family Matters was better than everything that Kendrick had put out before. Not like us. And I had made a video of how I felt about that. That Jungle O. I, I, I swear I felt like I was listening to the insane clown posse. Like, it, it's all right, but it ain't all that. And you know, like, you... Call that man a pedo and this and yeah, yeah, yeah. And a, I get it. Okay. I get it. I see it during the, during the beef. I like, yeah, Drake, you kind of deserved it. You've been acting real light skinned, bro. You, 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 um, go against guy code all day, bro. You're always at other people's girls. Like, bro, you a habitual line crosser when it comes to people's girls. But we fight my See, I can't say what I want to say. Are we are we beefing black men with each other by what another man do with his eggplant? Are you serious? Oh, okay, that's what we doing. That's what we doing. Y'all y'all that mad because Drake be out here dicking down y'all girls. That's that's they can't say Drake out here jacking. Drake out here stealing people money. Drake old people. No, they mad. Because this old light skin, the grassy ass nigga be getting your girl. And I agree. He be violent, bro. You violating. But then for y'all to go in the, like some of the most pe people I respect the most. You know, shout out to Rick and She. You're like, Drake not led. When Drake ain't not like us, his daddy from Memphis, you heard me? That's as FBA as you can get just because his mama white. Yeah, his mama white. He white boy this. Why I like, bro, y'all niggas were ridiculous. Then the fact that this dude had damn near the whole rap industry against him. Damn near the whole rap industry. Close, bitch. I'm not trying to see no Walmart ad. Dude had the damn near the whole rap industry against him. Man, catch up. Piling on him, jumping on him, mad. You know what I mean? I'm like, bro, what type of the, what, what part of the game is this? Y'all so butthurt behind a dude. Y'all think y'all better than? But he's a hit maker. He's a hit maker. So. Upon me discovering that Drake's suing, he's not suing Kendrick Lamar. See, that's what y'all media people need to have a responsibility in what y'all report and how y'all present stuff. Yeah, Drake is suing Kendrick Lamar because he lost with beef. Nah, 
Nah, nigga. Drake is on his own record company and Spotify. Because how they manipulate. Back in my day, they call this payola. You paying niggas to play my songs and to not play other people's songs. That shit illegal. Now, when this old Democratic shield ass teller Luther Campbell from Two Live Crew was back in the gap suing and going to the Supreme Court for rappers' right to have free speech in their fucking songs, y'all championing him. But now this man going like, whoa, it's kind of fucked up that the record label that I'm under and the record label that do who I'm beefing with under. Because both of them are in the same group. How they manipulating and buying bots and paying out people to inflate his numbers. That's like, that's not allowed in no industry where you can play both sides of the fence. You're not allowed to do that. But y'all like, oh, drink this man. He just, Jake just mad because he lost. I think he taking it in stride. Y'all don't want to let it go. That, to the point that y'all got this nigga at my, in my state at the halftime show. And then y'all mad at Wayne who done gave y'all nothing but hits for decades. Call it, bro, y'all, I, I just need to step back and, and just, I've been keeping quiet because I know how this is going to shake out. I just need to sit back and watch it all play out to the end. And when y'all, y'all niggas got egg on y'all face, Charlemagne the God, everybody who were like, Kendrick is impeachable, you know, the one of the hardest rhymes I ever I heard in this beef was, nigga, you always out here rapping like you trying to free the slaves. Y'all don't get it, bro. The white record company is pitting. Two black men, whether how you feel about Drake or not, two black men against each other, and they profiting off of it. And a nigga who rapping like he trying to free the slaves is in cahoots with these white, white record labels. Like I said, bro, kids you starting to look like the nigga he hate. You starting to move like Drake. And what I like about Kendrick, he's like, like, both of them are authentic. They themselves, they, he, he, they are who they are. Drake gonna dick down your girl, and Kendrick gonna do rap like he trying to free the slaves. Despite him still hitting white girls. Oh, he already told us that. We cool with that. He ain't dressed whether he, you know, bing bang his girl. Or one of them chaps. That, he ain't dressed none of that. Y'all just, I don't wanna hit, I don't wanna hit. Drake your pedo. Cause y'all niggas hate him too. Y'all hate that y'all love Drake so much, bro. Y'all hate that y'all love let's be honest. So over that Mal, y'all remember him when he was on Joe Budden podcast. You know, Mal and this Rory, I'm sorry, Mal is black dude, this Rory. Let him explain to y'all in greater detail why y'all are wrong and how Drake suing these manipulative Record companies that have been fucking over black artists for centuries. I ain't gonna say centuries. That's hyperbole. For decades, okay? For decades. Slave contracts, slave. Now you gotta do, but like, listen, bro. Y'all ain't allowed to do this shit no more. That could be a hindrance to somebody who not as big as Drake or Kendrick Lamar or even Lil Wayne. What is some up and coming? Rapper trying to get on, but some record company got some kind of issue with him, and they just the algorithm kill his career. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture. This ain't just about oh Drake and Drake mad at Kendrick. Nah, this is about niggas stay the fuck out of this. Like if we gonna go at it, don't ain't, this is one one v one. Don't jump in this. Don't help him. Like, nigga, I done put so much money in your pocket. I, bro, I'd be hot too, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And then they say he ain't suing yet. But let's let Rory educate y'all. 
Cause I'm I'm just sick of y'all making these videos. I'm sick of these comments. This shit been going on for a year. This is like halftime show is blasphemous. It's blasphemous. Like to have a beef record song played at the Super Bowl at another black man in a city that's known for its me. Bro, I just feel so dis. It's like white folks is laughing in y'all faces. And y'all niggas just going along with it. Like, bro, I don't want to see no, t like, y'all can have y'all issue, but I don't want to see it go to this level. Like, and then I'm, I'm, I'm Gen X. I remember how this shit ballooned to gigantic proportions This it, to the point that Biggie and Tupac got killed. Like, we lost two of the greatest in hip hop history, all because of some fucking beefing. Like you ain't gotta like a nigga, you just stay away from that nigga, bro. But don't be letting no white record company puppet your ass Kendrick Lamar into beefing out with another black man and brainwashing all these other black people, Mister Rapping with the Slave Ass Nigga. Y'all like, know how I stand. I like I feel disrespected now that y'all gonna be on some Lil Wayne this. See, I shut up. I'm like, man, Drake, take your lick, okay? You know what I'm saying? Cause you be moving foul sometimes and I was pulling for you, but you you lost. You win something, you lose something. Let's move on. Y'all wouldn't let it go. Yeah, they, got this, they got this one nigga on this YouTube channel calling company, man, bro. This nigga that made so many Kendrick Glazing videos. I think he up to 30 right now. I mean, he just. <laughs> Kendrick. Kendrick. <laughs> I damn it, Wayne. Thank you. <laughs> Man, Wayne was hurt, bro. Wayne was hurt. Then Solomon got like. <laughs> we, me, we hip hop started suing people. Like, bro, ain't you a, ain't, nigga, ain't you in your forties? I thought y'all said y'all tired of rappers crashing out and killing each other and going to jail and shit. Ain't we supposed to move in a certain way? So Jay-Z ain't never fucking sued nobody? Are you serious? Y'all just sound like a bunch of prisoner in the moment bitch ass niggas. I just can't, I'm just, it just sound weird to me. There's no rapper ever sued anybody else before. And then y'all, he suing Kendrick Lamar. Bruh, in fact, I'll show you. Go watch. Yes, it's me, Stacy. A YouTube, uh, YouTuber. The record company said, telling Drake, don't sue me, bro. Sue me. Don't sue me. Don't sue me. But if you go sue Kendrick Lamar, we gonna help you sue Kendrick Lamar. But guess what Drake didn't? Guess what Drake did? He ain't sue Kendrick Lamar. He sued the record company. And Spotify. So the nigga who helped you is trying to fuck over you, bro. Like y'all nigga, y'all better wake the fuck up, bro. Y'all better wake up. Y'all still, y'all better wake up, bro. Y'all, I'm like, I see where this shit going, bro. I see where this going. I ain't saying somebody gonna end up there, but I see where this shit going, bro. Somehow, some way. Some dirt on Kendra gonna come out and all y'all gonna feel played. Okay? Cause there's no rapper out here that's above reproach. Not one. But let's get it to it all cause we all men. We all fall short of glory. Let's get to him explaining. I'm gonna put a timestamp on this shit. At least I think I am. Probably not. I have no dog in this fight. I like Kendrick's music. I like no dog in this fight. I like Kendrick's music. I have no dog in this fight. I like Kendrick's music. I like Drake's music. I also think both of them have used bots via UMG, whether they knew it or not. 
what stood out, what stood out the paperwork to my work was, was the accusation the act that UMG lowered, UMG lowered their, licensing their licensing rate by 30 by 30 percent for not like us just a quick just a quick quick history, quick history lesson how we even, how we even got to the value of what a stream is was based off was based Spotify, Spotify and, the majors, and the three majors negotiating, negotiating on what that, what that value would what be makes what, what makes it even crazier is, is all three majors, all three majors have, actual have actual stock and ownership, and ownership Spotify. within Spotify that would be illegal, that would be illegal in, in any other, other business in the world but it's the music industry so anything can fly out to, to the point that I worked at a major when Spotify went public and they emailed, and they emailed all of us as employees and said you cannot buy stock because that would be insider trading now imagine you're an artist you know and you know that the people that, that, own, people your that music, own your music plus the people, plus the people that distribute your music, music which is a whole separate tech company are in cahoots, are in cahoots to define what a dollar means, means within, the music, within the music industry and then you later, then you later find out that for, that for one artist and one song they devalue that, that dollar you wouldn't have an issue you wouldn't have an issue with it i have no dog in this fight i'd like can Y'all wouldn't have an issue with that if y'all was that artist. Y'all wouldn't have no problem with that. That if one artist, one song, that's what the record come to do. Oh hell no, nah. we ain't gonna do no more. We ain't doing no more. nope, nope, nope. Make your routine. I don't play that shit. Get out of here right. So if that was, that was your little struggling rapper, little baby brother out here, and some record come, would y'all have a problem with that, bro? Let's let's take it away from Drake and Kendrick Lamar, okay? Cause clearly y'all hate Drake. It's just y'all love him so much that y'all hate him, bro. That's how I, I, I look at it. Y'all love this man so much that y'all hate him. But let's take out Drake and Kendrick Lamar for a second. Okay. Let's take two great artists that didn't always see eye to eye. You know. Let's put Michael Jackson and Prince. Okay. If Prince was to sue Sony for doing the equivalent with Michael Jackson. You think Michael Jackson would have had a problem with Prince? You think we would have been out here? Or you think or you think Michael would have been on some? Yeah, Prince, because we can't allow these record companies to take our money and play with our money. They would unite, bro. They, they would unite. They'd be on, like, you right, bro. All us making this money. So you think if they do it for you, they won't do it against you? Are you stupid? What if you get to the point where like, listen, bro, we tired of you. We sick of you. Here come the next person. That's what I feel like it is. They feel like they can manufacture and create buzz for anybody they want. So artists will be replaceable now. Like, oh, you don't want to get with the program. You don't want to sign this slave deal no more. We can manipulate the algorithm to destroy your career. But y'all hate Drake so much, y'all can't even see the play. Hit that like and subscribe become part of the kingdom. Y'all wild, bro. Y'all wild.